Welcome to the Poe Politikin Show. Founded in 2008, Poe Politikin is a hip-hop meets self-help brand. With each interview, we teach the babies and share success secrets with you, the listener. Past guests of the Poe Politikin Show include Yo Gotti, Currency, MC Light, BG, Dead Press, Rashida, Project Pat, and more. We also showcase the future upcoming stars of hip-hop. Subscribe on iTunes and get automatic updates of each podcast episode. What's good? This is Jay Cobb. I'm on Poe Politikin, Stone Group Records. Let's get it. Welcome back to PolPolitikin.com, your home for self-help meets hip-hop. Make sure you download our app on iTunes. We're on iHeartRadio, just got added, uh, Spreaker Radio. Wherever you listen to podcasts, we're probably there. I'm now politics with my homie Jay Cobb. How you doing, bro? What's good? I'm good, fam. How are you? I'm wonderful, man. So the first thing, I want you to let us know why is music important to you. Oh, man. Music's important to me for a number of reasons. Uh, it's a way for me to not only connect with myself, but to connect with fans um, and to connect with other people. Oftentimes, it allows me to tell my story, which could also be a similar story to somebody else. Um, and it's really, you know, I mean, it heals you at times of need, whenever you're feeling down or if you want to get pumped up. So it's definitely, it's a part of my life. Um, and I just feel very blessed to be able to create and, you know, create music for myself and then give it back to the people. Mm. Now, how would you describe yourself to people? Yeah, so I'm classically trained on the piano since the age of four. Um, I played five different musical instruments. I'm born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. So obviously, you know, Motown is woven into the fabric of my hometown. And so I pretty much grew up with music. So my influence comes from everywhere, from Luther Vandross to Motown, you know, Cypress Hill, Andre 3000, Outkast, Eminem, Jay, Notorious B.I.G., but... I would just, I would describe myself as, you know, 
a diverse artist that comes from a classical background and I perform hip hop music, but I really consider myself more of a musician and an artist. Okay. And what is hip hop to you? Hip hop. Hip hop to me is really the voice of, you know, you could sum it up and say the streets, but I don't really think it's the streets. I mean, it's changed so much, but hip hop to me is just the voice of my community, to be mm-hmm. honest. Hmm, yeah. And then who are some people who is what are you listening to right now? Uh, well, I just created my first Spotify playlist, so I dropped that on Friday. It's called The List. Um this got everybody from, you know, Bun B and UGK, some throwbacks to Nipsey Hustle's new uh album, to Drake. Um I'm just listening to everything, man. To be honest, I, I listen to all genres of music. Uh, I'm a consumer along with creators, so I'm kinda like bumping everything. Okay. And then what are some things you do as far as on the self improvement tip? Yeah, self improvement. So self improvement is huge for me. So, you know, I try to meditate at least once a day. Um, I'm also a very spiritual person. So people who know me know I haven't stopped, you know, I pray a minimum three times a day and I've been doing that for my entire life. So, you know, those are definitely some of the self improvement tips that I would give and that I use on a daily basis to just, you know, Keep going. Keep pushing. Right. So now we can finna, finna dig a little deeper. So how do you meditate? So I do both. I do guided meditations, guided meditations, and then non-guided. Um, I like visualization meditations. Um, uh, this summer, I actually had a chance to, after I finished my album, which is dropped on March 30th, I had a chance to spend a month in Indonesia, in Bali, hmm. um, and traveling around to multiple different, you know, from Changu to Semenyak to Nusa Dua, went out to like Nusa Limbong, and I was out in the islands, like in the jungle. Um, and I did a lot of meditation and, and like, not so much soul searching, but just really, you know, I come out of finishing my album, so it was important to kind of like, just recheck it with myself, you know, and quiet all the noise. So obviously I was away from all the, the craziness and politics and all the kind of noise that's going on over here in America. And, really just immerse myself in spirituality. I was able to cleanse myself in some, you know, um, ancient pools and wow. healing pools and, you know, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, man. What do you mean by heal yourself? Uh, you know, we all struggle with things at time. And, and, you know, I think we're a product of like our environment, but also our, our parents, you know what I'm saying? And, I know in my life that like I'm a sponge, I'm an artist, so I'm always trying to like absorb what's around me and absorb the energy that people are giving off and then give it back. So, you know, with that take there's a lot of responsibility there and and there's a lot of like not everything is happy, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know if you heard my last track, but that was definitely inspired by some pain and some suffering that I was going through and people that was trying to shoot poisonous arrows at at me and my project. So, you know, to hear myself is the promise one? Like, pardon me? The promise one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. so like to hear myself, that's an ongoing, ongoing thing. You know, I think that every single day, you know, I try to like just make sure I'm good and check in with myself, you know? And then how do you, uh, cause I was thinking they always kind of like, so what's, what's the difference between, how do you pray then? Cause what's the difference between prayer and meditation? They're different. Um, so I'm Episcopalian. I'm Christian. I, I was baptized Christian and grew up in a Christian church. So meditation is obviously rooted in Buddhism. Mm-hmm. And, you know, prayer for my, the way that I use it, is rooted in Christianity. So they are separate. And um, meditation, I almost look at it more a relationship with myself and my subconscious. Mm-hmm. And praying is my relationship with God and the higher power. You see what I'm saying? So. Mm-hmm they're completely different and I use them in different ways. You know, I wouldn't meditate to ask God for the strength um, and guidance to continue to pursue something that's unregulated, that doesn't really have a lot of rules. And, you know, the path is not built. There's no road to success in this. You know, there's different journeys. So that's kind of how, that's how I use them both and, and the difference for me. All right, maybe we got a little deep right quick. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Well, it is Sunday. You know what I mean? It is Sunday. I get and, it. and I don't know where you are, but here in New York, it's gray and cloudy and rainy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, if you heard the record, you know, this is my kind of day. You know, a self-reflective day. Yeah, and then speaking of the record, I, I want you to talk about your current projects. Because we were just talking about Promise. So, just talk about your current yeah. projects and everything. 
Yeah, so I've got an album called No Filter Drop in March 30th. It'll be on all streaming platforms, Apple Music, iTunes, Tidal. Um, and the latest, the first single that we dropped off the project official was Another You. Um, it was produced by a producer out of Detroit named Tim Bosky. He goes by Boss Billions and an incredible vocalist on it and songwriter Bo Napoleon. Um, and then we did a couple other releases. Why not? We sprinkled out some other content and our second official release is called Promise, um, which is a record that I did in Detroit. And like I said, it was kind of fueled by some people trying to take some bricks from my building, you know, in hopes of selling it back to me. I'm not sure if you saw the quote, but that, that's, what I, that's how I felt. And that's the new joint. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot different than Another You. Um, Another You was what I consider more honey and, you know, something that can kind of go over with everybody. Promise is definitely more in your face and it's going to make you feel something. You either don't, you know, it's like New York City, you either like it or you don't. Hmm. <laughs> and then speaking of, like, I always ask artists about far as marketing promotion, so I just want you to share uh, some marketing promotion tips that you use. You know, the first tip that I would say in marketing and promotion, don't rely on anybody else to market or promote yourself other than yourself because um, nobody else is going to care about it as much as you do. So definitely take that serious. I know, you know, Jay Brown, when I was at a Harvard MBA class, called me a triple threat. And so, you know, how I kind of decide for that is like I've had to learn every aspect of the business in order to make sure that I was doing the right thing. So marketing, I use Twitter, I use Instagram, I use Facebook. And a strategy for me personally I'm going to get a little nerdy right here, but it's different for each one. And it's got it. Right, right. It should be. And so, um, and then in promotion, you know, I'm using the same tools. I do have some some people who are helping me. Um, I have a really solid team um, that's behind me and that's backing me that took, you know, some time to to put together and construct. But they helped me. But like I said, man, if I could give a tip to anybody listening and any artists out there, marketing and promotion – Figure it out for yourself first, and then it'll help you bring in other people to help you market and promote yourself. Okay. And then any, like, new listen, uh, sh- listener to the show that's just, you know, hearing about you, why should they check out your music? Um, first and foremost, I mean, I'm, I'm an honest person, and honesty is something that's gotten me to where I am today. And, you know, I would say, like, talking to you. Um, so if you're looking for authentic music, honesty, and something that's a little bit different. Like, I'm, I don't chase trends. Like I said, I'm classically trained. So I'm really trying to evolve as an artist. Um, I've been rapping since 12, but I, I took this seriously and decided I wanted to have, make this my career in 2015. So, you know, I think if you just want to hear from a do-it-yourself type of cat who rolled up his sleeves and, and just jumped in feet first, not knowing the depth, the temperature of the water, or where he was going, heading to, you know what I'm saying? You get to, that's really what my music's about. And that's what you get from me. So, and we kind of we was kind of talking about this throughout the interview. But what are some of your interests outside of music? Oh uh, yeah, uh, interests outside of music. Um, let's see. Obviously, I like traveling. Um, I'm a student to life, so I like learning. You know, I like reading. Um, obviously, I like meditation. I like hiking. I like going out um, in the wilderness. I snowboard. Uh, I love sports. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the Detroit teams, Lions, Pistons, Red Wings, Tigers. Let's get it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty, you know. <laughs> What's some of your favorite yeah. books? Some of my favorite books. A book that I actually really want to reread right now is 1984. I think it's really, it's time for me to reread that one. Okay. Um, but I like the Watsons go to Birmingham. <laughs> I like uh, Catcher in the Rye. Um See, I like a lot of stuff. No time like the present by Jack Cornfield. Um, you know, I, I read all different kind of books. You know what I'm saying? All right. And what's like uh, the best piece of advice you ever received? Best piece of advice I ever received. My mom told me. Um, she said the best piece of advice I could ever tell you is know when it's your time to leave. Um, and I think that that's an important one because sometimes people are in the wrong place at the wrong time and they don't realize they're supposed to leave and they were not able to leave that place. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's a really important advice because like I said, I started this, you know, on my own and fortunately grown it to, I don't have to be on my own anymore, but whenever you're trying to do something on your own, you, you've got to look out for yourself, you know, and this is a business that's fueled by, I think, taking advantage of other people. So it's important to know when to leave. Hmm. What would you like to say to your fans, your supporters? 
Hey! <laughs> What's up, it's Kyle. You already know what it is, man. I thank you guys. I love you. We're growing. Thank you so much for sticking with me. You know, it's been a it's been a, a slow process, but you guys have had the most patience with me. I'm forever grateful. I'm thankful. And I look forward to continuing to build with you guys and really performing this music this year and showcasing it for you. All right, man. I want to say thank you for coming through politics with me. Yo, Rich Holy Poe, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, Definitely no, am a, a fan and subscriber to the podcast. We'll be checking it out, my brother. No doubt, man. You want to, uh, anything we didn't cover you like to talk about? No, nah, definitely, you know, hit me up on my Instagram. This is J.Cobb, C-O-B-B. Uh, Twitter, this is J.Cobb. My website, djcobb.com, T-H-E-J-C-O-B-B.com. And Stone Group Records, thank you. I appreciate it. Popolitikin.com. The Popolitikin Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO audio and get an audio book of your choice free with a 30 day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month, good for an audiobook on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power.